What apps do I love for the Android platform? Well, where do I get started? First off, let me confess, I'm an app junkie. I hoard applications. I download as many as I think might be interesting. For the first month or two of the Android market going live, I perused every single app released. But at this point, there are somewhere in the neighborhood of 100,000 apps, more than you'd want to look through one by one. So here's a starter, our top 10 free Android applications. First on the list is what could arguably be called the killer app of the smartphone world. Besides the calls you make, mapping may be one of the most used features on these devices. And Google's own Google Maps does a fine job of getting you from point A to point B. It's straightforward for anybody who's used Google Maps on their PC. It's technically a separate app, but Google Navigation ties in seamlessly with Maps to give you step-by-step -step directions for your car, bike, public transit, or even for walking. Google's mapping tools aren't flawless, but for the price, free, they're an absolute steal. To get the most out of your smartphone, you'll want to know exactly how much juice you have left in that device. Battery Indicator does one thing and does it very well. It tells you exactly how much battery life is left. I've more than once put anxiety to rest, knowing that while I don't have much battery life left in my HTC Evo, I have exactly 5%, enough to make the calls I need to. Just as with GPS, smartphones are as much cameras as they are phones. If you're somebody who snaps a lot of shots with your phone, be sure to download Photoshop Mobile. It doesn't really compare to the desktop application, but for quick edits of your mobile photos, there's nothing better. Everybody loves music, and virtually every phone today doubles as an MP3 player. You've got your choice of media playing apps, but how about an app that will identify songs for you? That's what Shazam does, and I use it every day. If you hear a tune in the store, on the radio, at a party, or on the elevator, anywhere, you can let Shazam tell you the song title and artist, and even go directly to Amazon and download the tune. I feel like I hardly need to mention this next one, Facebook. It's where Americans spend nearly a third of their time online, and now it's easier than ever to Facebook on the go. The app is straightforward and easy to use, no surprises here. If you're trying to conserve space on your device for other apps, you can get by fine just using the mobile browser version. But don't get caught checking Facebook when you have real live friends standing in front of you. It's rude. Here's one for all of you who have a touchscreen but no physical keyboard. A new field of app has emerged aimed at alleviating your hen-pecking thumbs. Apps like ShapeWriter Keyboard and Swipe Keyboard allow you to draw your finger across the screen to each letter in your word. When you get the hang of it, it's arguably as fast if not faster than a physical keyboard. Business cards seem so 20th century. For trading contact info today, something like Bump is just the app you need. Bump lets you exchange any contact info you want, like name, phone number, email, pictures, or even other applications. All you do is fire up the app, select what info you're sharing, and literally bump the phone you're trading with. It's that easy. Now you're in their virtual Rolodex. What did people do before the internet? No, really, I don't remember. If you've got a data plan on your Android phone, then you never have to be without the web. But that small screen can be a hassle sometimes. Tethering takes care of that, and with an app like PDANet, it's easy to connect your PC or Mac to your Android phone and get web access just about anywhere you have a signal. Again, this is one that saved me a number of times. I usually have a good signal on my phone and usually don't want to pay for the hotel Wi-Fi when I'm on the road. Most smartphones have removable storage, and it's nice to know what's taking up space on your card. Disk Usage is another of those utilitarian apps that does a single thing very effectively. It shows you what's on your drive and how much space it's taking. I use my storage to full capacity most of the time, so it takes some managing. With disk usage, it's easy to identify what files are just too bloated to justify keeping around. It works as an easy file browser too, where you can find and open anything on your card. Last but not least is an app that could help you be more social in real life. Yelp, the popular local business search, is perfect for finding restaurants, hotels, nightclubs, or anything else in your neighborhood or a neighborhood you're new to. With the right apps, you never really have to be lost again. Ladies, you listening? These make great gifts for the man in your life who won't ask for directions. That's our list, but like we said, there are a lot of apps to choose from. What applications make your life easier? I'm Austin for Top 10 Reviews, where we do the research so you don't have to.